What's up guys? Uh, today's autocross. Didn't load up the car or anything last night. We spent the last two days getting the M3 um, semi-decently ready to go to the track. We replaced uh, the uh, a gasket for the drive shaft, the main um, Guibo thing for the drive shaft where it meets the trans because that thing was like literally falling apart. And then the uh, we ripped the sub the subframe out again in the back and replaced the bushings there. And we still have motor mounts to do, strut bushings to do, and diff bushings to do. We're gonna try and knock those out next week, but she wanted to get that stuff done. We tidied up the interior once the frogs because I'm taking apart to undo the e-brake and, and this and that. So um, today will be the debut for the M3. Um, about to load up the golf here. The golf's going. So yeah, it's supposed to be like 77 down in Rogers all today too. So it should be a freaking Pretty warm day, and uh, I'm excited, very excited. Um, my cross brace for the hatch didn't make it in before this event, but it will be here. It's supposed to be shipped out on Monday. She'll be here for next week's auto cross event in Amarillo. Um, but yeah, time to load up the car. We're out here walking the course. It's a two timer, so you gotta you go around it once, you go around it twice, and then the second lap you kinda skip some stuff. But I guess we're lining up to do our parade lap. It's already like 70 out, tires are swapped. I'm more excited to see her run than anything. How you feeling, babe? You excited? I'm nervous, man. Sure? Yeah, and we got Dylan out here in his focus. We got Heather out here in her focus. We'll see how this day goes. I can get a lap in the M3. Got a good lineup of cars over here. So excited for the M3 today, though. Look at them. Like they were meant to be frenemies. Skirt! You've got a chance! Got the track cock here again. Hers is like bitty bitty. Yeah. Jay Z, what are you doing? Say hi. Well, you sure did, didn't you? Did my first lap, felt okay. I didn't miss a shift and I didn't stop completely in the stop box. So that counted two seconds against, against me, but I did get a 46. But with that, it put me up to a 48, technically. But uh, it's still only the first round, but if I would have not messed that up, I wouldn't have first right now. Car feels good though, really good. I bumped the dampening in the back up a little bit. We're at 22 in the front, 25 in the rear. This strut bar, I'm telling you though, my steering feel is so, so good. If you don't have the Tyrol Sport dead set kit and the uh, Bureau Code front bar or whatever it's called, you need it.
damn Honda. I finally get in the 44s, catching up on him, and he gets in the 43s. I'm steadily holding second place now, but he keeps going further and further. I got two more laps to try and make it up. Uh, the only spots I really have like to make up time is I'm hitting rev limiter like right before going into a turn, so I haven't been shifting in a second, but I guess I'm gonna just shift in a second this time and see if I make up any time. And I turned the XDS back to strong from medium. It definitely helped. Um, everything's, everything's feeling really good. I might bump up the uh, dampening in the front to match the rear, because it's 2225 right now. See if that helps at all. I'm not having any grip issues. I'm not having any getting lost issues or anything. No understeer, it's just pure time. I gotta manage shifting and and my me better. GTR. Sexy. Getting that launch control ready. Doing pretty darn good with blown struts. Last lap was freaking fantastic. 43.9, the best so far was a 43.7, so I got two tenths to make up on the last lap. Um, it's a turbo Honda, of course. Um, he has one more lap as well after me, so I'm praying to the, to the grip guys that I'll, uh, I'll make it this time. I did turn the dampening up in the front to 25 to match. Brought the tire pressures back down uh, to 32 in the front. About all I can do. I could I could turn up the dampening even more. I don't know how beneficial that'll really be. Um, I'm just gonna leave it at the 25 though. Maybe in Amarillo next week I'll play a little bit more dampening since I have eight laps to play with it instead of five here. But she's doing good. She's running great. Um, everything's just fantastic. I'm so happy. I'm just really excited to see what this uh, hatch bar is gonna do. I'll probably ditch my back seats from here on out once the once the bar comes in. But um, be looking for that. Probably Thursday. Hopefully it's here like Wednesday so I can have a video up for you guys Thursday. But yeah. And uh, she's loving the BMW. So far, so great. I think her best time is like a 49 something. Um, I mean, it has blown struts. So there's that. It needs suspension. The front tires are drunk. So it's pushing a little bit. But she's having fun. It's the first time that the BMW has been on a course. So uh, still needs some work. But seat time is everything. That's why it's here. Rear wheel drive. Rear -wheel yeah. Drive. All right, hit it. Here we go.
front tires need to go away. <laughs> that was that was tight though. That was good. Who was it? 49.3. Not bad. Maxing out first gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does it feel though? Fun. Better, than, better the, than the other one. <laughs> way better than the 320? That's an M3 for you. So proud. Such a beautiful car. Hey, babe. Well, today was an awesome day. She finally got to uh, get some laps in on the M3. Very, very proud. She's getting a little sideways. I can't say, can't wait to see how the the car uh, performs with some. She, she's getting 17s with NT05s, and then uh, obviously some coilovers. Get some camber on that car. It's going to run really good. Um, some headers, a tune. Uh, it still needs a coolant flush, probably some brake fluid, high temp brake fluid, new brake pads. It's a long road to go. Uh, she's planning on stripping out the bag and roll cage, all this shit. It's going to be a literal full on track car in time. But uh, for now, getting the shakedowns in. Next week, we'll both be racing in uh, Amarillo. So there's that. Uh, but uh, she wound up playing, placing fifth in an intermediate class and then I got second in the pro class. Um, Hano got me by like point two something of a second. I was 43.9, he was 43.79 I think. So um, there's that. I've been behind him now for like the last like three or four events. I needed to catch up and pass him here soon or something. But uh, next, next event we'll have the back seats out, a little bit of weight gone. We'll have the brace back there. Um, actually, by the next month's event, I might actually have the turbo and the fuel system in. Um, I don't know how much that r is really going to help on the autocross track. Uh, I pretty much only use first and maybe part of second. Uh, maybe like the top end of first, like with power, might help a little bit. I don't know. But um, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. It was a very good day. Don't mind my crazy hair. I'm usually wearing a hat, but it's a little warm. It's about 80 degrees right now. So uh, hopefully the weather sticks around. I don't want it to be too hot, but... This, this high 70s is definitely nice with it, but um, that's all I got. I hope you guys liked the video. Go ahead and jump over and watch the autocross clips. You can see all the cards that were there today, and uh, I'll give that a second or a separate video. But uh, if you're watching this far, I appreciate you. Y'all the real MVPs. Oh, actually, uh, I was just thinking about Santos. Santos, thank you. I have these pop sockets. See, it's a pop socket, pops out. You can set your phone up to watch, you know, YouTube or porn, whatever you have. You have it, you know, so you don't drop your phone. There's been, like, um, no shitting you probably 40 times that the dog hit me or someone bumped into me or I, like, tripped on the sidewalk or something where if I wouldn't have had this pop socket between my fingers, I would have, like, thrown my phone, like, forever far. And then they have these mounts that they sell to uh, sticks. This is where my phone sits. It's perfect. I bought 100 of these. I have 77 left. I'm selling them for $12, included shipping. Uh, comment down below if you want one, or hit me up on Instagram, BR32YCE. Just send me the PayPal, and I'll literally send it out to you the next day, unless it's a Sunday or like a holiday. But I'm trying to get these sold. Like I said, I have 77 of them left. I've been sitting around for months. Um, I need to get those sold so I can get shirts made. We finally passed that 1,000 subscriber mark. So I'm trying to get shirts and hoodies. Um, once they're sold, I'll show you guys. You guys can help me vote on which ones you'd want, and uh, we'll go from there. But I need to get these pop sockets sold. Twelve bucks. I was selling them fifteen originally. Give me twelve bucks. I got seventy-seven to sell. I need to make my money back. I need to buy shirts. And get this ball rolling. But uh, all right, people are back. 
We're heading home. But thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.